Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equations 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x over 3 to the power x equal to 3. I will suggest you two methods how to solve this. Okay, let's divide both of these by 3 to the power x. 3 to the power x over 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x over 3 to the power x equal to 3. We can do this because we have the same denominator and we have both of these the sum in denominator. So here we have 1 plus. Right here we can write it in one parenthesis because we have different bases but same exponent. So we can write this like that equal to 3. So here is equal to 2 to the power x. And right here we can bring this 1 to on the right side. So we will have 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So x equal to 1. And this is the answer. And I, I want to suggest you a second method how to solve this. So we have 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x over 3 to the power x equal to 3. So we can multiply both sides by 3 to the power x. 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x equal to 3 times 3 to the power x. We can do this for sure. So what we're going to do next? For sure we bring this product on the left. So 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x minus 3 times 3 to the power x equal to 0. What we're going to do next? For sure we can express this 6 to the power x as 2 times 3 to the power x. So 2 times 3 raised to the power x. And for sure we can do the next thing, 3 to the power x minus 3 times 3 to the power x, for sure it will be equal to 2 minus 2 times 3 to the power x equal to 0. Okay, we have a product and we raise both of these to the power x, so we raise 2 to the power x and 3 to the power x minus 2 times 3 to the power x equal to 0. We have 3 to the power x and 3 to the power x, so we can factor out this 3 to the power x as a common 3 to the power x, and in parentheses we will have 2 to the power x minus 2 equal to 0, so we have a product equal to 0, so this one equal to 0, and this one equal to 0 as well. This one has no roots because 3 to the power x never be equal to 0 or minus value or negative value, so we are interested in this equation, so we will have 2 to the power x equal to 2 and x equal to 1. And this is the answer, two methods, the first one and the second one, so which one do you, su will you suggest? So write your answer in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.